We have one of the most interesting hot rods here in the entire show at the Super Nationals. And we're talking with Roger Brown and Tom Stark here. And uh, Tom, you're the builder of the uh, vehicle, is that correct? I am. I, uh, I have a shop in Denver called Precision Designs, and we specialize in special vehicles. And uh, we got the project from Roger uh, early on and started from that. Okay. What is the vehicle? Tell so us it's a 44 Mac fire truck, and it is a pumper. It's basically real similar to what it is right now as what we started with. So. I mean, it, we didn't change much from what we started with. There's no reason to change it. Now, Roger, what inspired you to do something like a 44 Mack fire truck? Well, I've had hot rods most of my life. Um, you know, I had a family in between hot rods. So when uh, I come up with the idea with my wife to do a hot rod, it was a perfect fit for a fire truck because I'm in the fire truck selling business. So um, the hunt was on. For an old fire truck in the uh, 20s, 30s, 40s era, and uh, lucky enough to buy this one off of eBay, got it reasonable uh, from a guy out of Pennsylvania, had it shipped back, and uh, then I called Tom and said, "Hey, you know, I need somebody to build this fire truck, make a hot rod out of it." So now that year, 44, there wasn't a lot of building of vehicles at all going on in 44. No, fire fire trucks and military vehicles were about the only vehicles that were being built in 44 uh, due to World War II. And the amazing thing about this is this thing's probably got three or four hundred pounds of brass on it which most of the brass was going for the war effort at that point in time. So it's very unique in 44 that there weren't many vehicles being built, period. I see. Now, how long did it take you to build this thing? So from start to finish was 14 months. We started with a rough pencil sketch and some ideas, what we thought, drivetrain, suspension, wheels and tire size, ride height, and all that. Um, from that, we had kind of a print and started from there. Started with a chassis, front rear suspension, drivetrain, and then on to sheet metal work. I see. Now, tell us about some of the special features on this, on this vehicle. We could be here a while. <laughs> Obviously, they don't sit like this from the, from the factory. So, I use the stock frame. I use the stock Mac axle. From there, everything is hand-built, engineered. Um, lots of special machine parts. Um, it's got a four bar front suspension with airbags on the front, um, huge disc brakes, SRT10 um, truck brakes is what I ended up using. Um, and then in the back we used a, an 08 Dodge single rear wheel rear end that I narrowed 14 inches. <laughs> four bar rear suspension, airbags as well, um, all controlled by an AccuAir air ride system. So it has a four corner leveling system. So it keeps it level and, and ride right. You know, when you have a, a pump in here and a driver, everything's heavy on one side. So we had stuff to keep it in line. Along with all that, we used cup car uh, sway bars, anti-roll bars from Schroeder Engineering. Now, if you were to really get on this thing, what do you suppose it could do? It'll do 150 real fast. It just what you need is a 150 mile an hour fire truck from 1944, huh? <laughs> well guys, I, I gotta tell you, this is not only one of the most unique vehicles here at the show, but what a beautiful, beautiful job you guys have done and, and just, just a fine example of what, what hard work and ingenuity can do when you're, when you're talking about dealing with street rod stuff. That's correct. So, That's so correct. thank you guys for sharing that with us. All right? Appreciate, appreciate it. Thank you very much. I appreciate right. it. Thank you very much.